What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be working on the rear flares. We're gonna be adding that one inch flip. So Blaine started off by cutting off the old flare and then he went ahead and cut about an inch higher on the body so now he's welding everything back up in place so that way we can go ahead and test with the flare and see how we should mold it back up. So this is where we decided to mount up the flare. It's about an inch higher and about an inch more pulled out. So we're going to start by finishing up and tacking this whole flare in place. And then we can go ahead and start cutting out pieces for our lip. So now that we have this flare mounted up, I'm going to start working on the other side. So I'm just going to use a flap disc and just grind all the bondo and all the primer off so that way we can get to the flare. So now that we have the flare cut off, we're going to go ahead and radius the fender about an inch more just to have a little bit more clearance. There's foam under here, yeah? So watch it doesn't catch on fire. Okay guys, if you notice, this is where backwards from the last clip is because Christine caught her car on fire and we had to <laughs> dash the quarter panel in to get the fire out, which was behind this. You can see it's all burnt from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know, somebody just ran in yeah, and caught on fire. And the car was on fire. And the guy ran away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's all going to be a Jeremy game. <laughs> You're just watching the smoke. <laughs> Long story short, there was a fire. Could have been way worse. We were able to save it. Um, that's the main thing. But now we have to figure out, because I bashed this, this whole thing in with a hammer to break these welds so that way we could splash the water in there. We don't have a fire extinguisher, which now that I think of it is stupid. Now we're gonna go ahead and figure out what is our point of attack, I guess you could say. Like, how are we gonna execute this because now the quarter panel is all wavy and we don't have a good, nice surface to tack this on. Honestly, what I'm probably going to do is get it as best as possible and tack it on here and then use body filler to straighten everything out. But at least the flare would be on where we need it to be. And then we can go ahead and shape it from there. That's the best we can do. If it looks horrible, what we'll probably end up doing is just cutting the whole quarter panel off and going over fender. I guess we'll see if this works. You know, you just gotta work with what you got. Things happen, but just gotta make the best of it. So we're gonna continue on because we already got the other side kind of good. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this side tapped on and hopefully make the best out of what could have been a way worse situation. <laughs> yeah, could have been homeless. <laughs> okay, so let's just figure out I'm just gonna tack it and we're gonna see how it looks. The flare is not bent, it's the corner panel that's bent, you dick. <laughs> I already pounded it as much as I could. So it won't catch fire anymore, yeah? Exactly. It better not catch fire. <laughs> it's fireproof now. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> Took out the marshmallow to be made of fire, isn't it? <laughs> So 
So since the last clip, we went ahead and straightened out the quarter panel as much as we could so that way we can go ahead and weld the flare back on. The quarter panel is still really, really wavy, so we're going to need to do some body work to get it as decent as possible. I really want to stay metal. I don't want to cut them off and go over fenders because I just don't really want to deal with fiberglass. And I've grown to love these metal flares, so I really don't want to get rid of them. Hopefully we don't have to, but this fire was entirely my fault i wasn't paying attention and i should have been more prepared for this i don't have experience with welding and things like that so i wasn't really conscious as much as i should have been so to be better prepared for later on we went ahead and got some fire extinguishers blaine went ahead and installed his inside his car i'm gonna go ahead and put this in my car just as an extra precaution because we don't want anything to happen to our cars or our house because that would suck. So yeah, this is a good thing to have. So if you guys don't have one of these, I definitely recommend one because you never know when you need it and this can save everything. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, so much for rocking with us. We got like 2,000 of you guys subscribed to the channel in the last two weeks, so I wanted to say hello to all the new subscribers and to all the old subscribers. Thank you guys for rocking with us. You guys are the best. We love you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay good.